Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the deep cool Neptwin Air CPU cooler. This is a twin tower cooler at a fairly low price point. Before I move on, I'd like to thank Deepcool for providing me this product. Here's the box. Again, we're looking at the Deepcool Neptwin CPU cooler, which you can see here right on the box. This cooler will also support the Intel LJ2011 socket and should be great for overclocking the AMD FX series CPUs. Right here it says Twin Tower heatsink. Both Intel and AMD sockets are supported. Six heat pipes, it comes with a copper base with two fans, should offer high performance, is meant for overclocking and this cooler also has a modding look to it. On the back you see, like I said before, this cooler features a twin tower heatsink design and comes with a copper base. Here on this side are some specifications and which sockets are supported. Basically all the modern sockets are supported, but we'll get to that in detail later. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Right on top is the deep cool installation guide for this cooler. These are very clear instructions. Up here is a small white box. Inside of it is a nice black and blue shiny deep cool 120mm fan. The build quality of this fan is good and it has pretty much no flex to it. I like it a lot that deep cool used a dark fan cable here. To be specific, black and grey and the connector itself is black. I like seeing that as it makes hiding cables in your case a lot easier. And of course there's more in the main box. And this package is the CPU cooler itself, to which we'll get in a moment, because there's one more small box inside the main one. And there is no fan, but all the accessories and mounting brackets you would need. For instance, these are the four double screw bolts, which are only needed for the LJ2011 socket. These are the two AMD mounting brackets, as you can see, and that's the insulating washer for the LJ775 socket only. But let's move on to the big box now. And there, again, is the CPU cooler itself. In between the two towers is another small white box. Inside is the second 120mm fan. I have to admit, these fans look very nice. But let's talk a little about the heatsink. Obviously, this is a twin tower heatsink as it comes with two towers. Nice, thick, high quality aluminum fins are used and on the top are even two deep cool logos. One the right way up and the second one upside down. So it's your choice which way you actually install this cooler. It'll show the right logo. Here you can also see the copper heat pipes that go through all the aluminum fins. On this CPU cooler we have a total of six U-shaped copper heat pipes that go through the base. The build quality, the construction is done very good. The heatsink is very durable and has no dangerous flex to it. I'm really curious on how this cooler will perform, because it's not one of these extremely big and heavy ones, which is good. You don't want a lot of weight on the motherboard and blocked RAM slots. I personally really like the design here at the upper side of the base. It looks good in terms of the aesthetics and should also keep the cooler tight to the socket. Now this is how the Neptwin cooler looks like when the fans are attached onto the heatsink. It was very easy to attach the fans using these clips here. The idea on how to keep the fans in place is brilliant and honestly I've never seen such good implementation with such metal clips before. So hats off for Deepcool. On the heatsink itself you have these special slots for the metal clips and you can choose whether you want to use the left or right slots for the fan between the towers. On the right are more slots for an additional fan. Unfortunately there's no third fan included, but you could use any fan and attach it to the heatsink. It's very nice of Deepcool to include two additional metal clips just in case you really decide to have three fans attached to the heatsink. In my case I didn't use any washers that are included. You get a total of 12 washers, so again enough for a total of 3 fans. I'd recommend using the washers, since these will reduce the vibration noise. 
I'm really impressed on how good the fans are attached to the heatsink. I've had similar CPU coolers from other manufacturers and they didn't manage to keep the fans in place that well. For the accessories you also get a thin zip tie to keep the fan cables tied together. The Neptwin cooler also comes with a fan hub. You simply plug the fans into this hub and you're good to go. Thanks to this hub, you now also have two more 4-pin fan headers. The cable of the fan hub itself is sleeved very nicely and the whole thing is black, including the connector itself. So overall it's a beautiful shiny cooler, it's also not that heavy actually. Here's the mirror polished copper base, very reflective. But now let's move on to the specifications. The Deepcool Neptwin Air CPU cooler comes with aluminum fins, a copper base, 6 U-shaped heat pipes and two 120mm fans. The cooler weighs 1109 grams and that are 2.44 pounds. The dimensions are the following, 126 by 136 by 159 millimeters. That are 4.96 by 5.35 by 6.26 inches. As for the CPU sockets, the following are supported. Intel LJ2011, LJ1366, LJ1150-1155-1156, and LJ775. Then AMD AM3 Plus slash AM3, AM2 Plus slash AM2, and FM2 slash FM1. The installation of the CPU cooler was very easy and fast and can be done alone very easily. I'm fascinated by the fact that all the mounting brackets are made out of metal and not cheap hard plastic, which I've already seen on other coolers. So yeah, the installation very easy, fast and simple, just how it should be. On the back here, as you can see, Deepcool also wants you to use these, the vibration buckles on the mounting bracket itself. Again, hats off, I haven't seen such a good thing for quite a long time now. These rubber buckles will definitely help reduce even more vibration noise. The cooler looks very nice in my system and as you can see, I have high profile memory installed and this Neptune cooler doesn't interfere with my two memory modules. However, just like on many other CPU coolers, the first memory slot is covered up, but still, if you have low profile memory, there shouldn't be a problem at all. But let's finally get to the temperature results. So the Deepcool Neptwin CPU cooler definitely is a very very good cooler. At first I have to say, the price of this Neptwin cooler is very low for a twin tower design and so many possibilities. In terms of price, it knocks all the other coolers out, no matter if air cooler or water cooler. The price is just insanely good and so is the performance compared to the price. This Neptwin is able to beat the a lot more expensive air CPU coolers. Not by far, but if you consider the price, wow, it really does an excellent job. Overclocking works very well and this cooler is able to even cool down my hot Intel i7 3770K at 4.5 GHz. When comparing the temperatures on load, the CPU at 4.5 GHz, the Neptwin does pretty good against the Corsair H100i water cooler. With the Neptwin, the CPU runs at 89 degrees Celsius with the H100i at 82 degrees Celsius. The difference is only 7 degrees. But what about the price difference? We are comparing a cheap air CPU cooler with an expensive water cooler. So performance wise this Neptune does very well and is able to beat some coolers of the competition, especially at pricing. The fans are surprisingly silent and I can't complain about the noise. With the included washers everything can be kept silent. What really stands out is the simple and easy installation. 
The quality of the mounting brackets are also outstanding and Deepcool includes everything you would need. Unfortunately, no third fan is included. This would have been the prime of this product. Pros are outstanding price performance ratio, great cooling performance, then this cooler also comes with lots of accessories and also comes with high quality mounting brackets. The heatsink is pretty durable and the installation of the CPU cooler is very easy. I have nothing to say for the cons, however, I can give this cooler a 10 out of 10, because in terms of the aesthetics, it doesn't look special enough. But still, I give it a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend this Neptune cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit the class11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.